But he kind of got a bold head. But whatever, man. He look cool. He's a vanguard. Ooh, all purple and shit. Alright, let me see. Auto level up? No, I'll leave that off. Subtitles on. Target assist. Normal. Alright, that's all good. So let's start this up. And we're gonna start playing some Mass Effect, y'all. Now, the one problem with this game, there ain't no real problem. I love this game. Like I would love my firstborn child. The only problem with this game is that it is going back to it, it's hard as fuck in comparison to the second game. What about Shepard? I'll be quiet for a second. Gets the job done. Exactly. Fuck him. I lived. Is that the kind of person we want? It's the only kind of person. That's the only kind of person who can No matter what kind of person you are, you're the only type of person that can save the galaxy. And I'm just sitting out there with my buzz cut. When I buzz cut like my low top fade. I wish they had a low top fade in here, I'll probably pick that shit. Or an afro. Why well, couldn't command the shepherd save the universe with an afro? What are they trying to say? You can't have afros on jobs, it's bullshit, man. So they saying that I couldn't be fucking Earth Savior, and hopefully you guys are reading that because I'm totally bullshitting around. <laughs> they should have that in Mass Effect Three. I want to give my ship an Afro. All right, so we go to ship. Yeah, boy, I got Joker talking in the shit. Flying the ship and shit. We're doing it big up in space now. That's another thing I want to see in Mass Effect 3. I'm going to wait a second. I'm going to see if I can remember after this cutscene because I don't want to keep interrupting it. <laughs> even though I still am. Now get out of my way, homie. Yeah, boy! Look at him! That's a shepherd you can be proud of! A man worthy of saving the universe! Cause he's just so baller! Now we're about to hit up that mass relay. And just get fucking sniped halfway across the goddamn galaxy. It is like a big ass rail gun. That's probably what it's supposed to be, but that's what it reminds me of. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. <laughs> what kind of shit is that? Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. Cut that chat of bitches! That's the official story. That's enough. Your soldiers, act like it. Yeah, shut that shit up. Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before. The only problem I see with this game is that it's gonna be a lot of fucking dialogue and I'm gonna want to be quiet. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here. Exactly, shut up. <laughs> but that's the problem. I'ma try not to talk. I'm gonna try not to talk over everything, but I know this game is gonna be a bitch ton of dialogue. But at the same time, I already played this game, so I know everything. So you guys might have to do some reading because I'm gonna be talking like hell. You made him mad. Great, you pissed the captain off, and exactly. Not to pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking. Exactly. Now I will talk to him. He's gonna be all pissed off. Oh man, Amanda Shepard. My head is flipping out. Alright, we finna just walk through the ship, talk to some people, get to know, get to know our surroundings. 
Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You headed yep. down to uh, he wants to see me. Oh, I heard you arguing. No, he wants to see me. I'm on my way to give him a status. Dude, just did the people's eyebrow and shit. Respect, sir. Maybe he'll finally what you mean, partner? You think the Alliance brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is he gangster? In charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? Uh, you don't want to investigate? I guess we can investigate. These first couple videos are just going to be me talking to people, <laughs> pretty much. But ain't nothing I can really do about that. What do you know about the stealth system? <laughs> Why Shepard look so happy when you ask? Like, tell me about those stealth systems. Sell me your product. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a happy buyer. <laughs> like, what the hell? Dude had a fucking ear to end grin. Skeleton crew would be cheap, less chance of security leaks too. Plus there's Nihilus. Pretty obvious the shake. Well you're wrong. Oh, let me see a cover. Or what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being Oh bitch, bitch, mine won't. That's all you wanna do. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. Cause if you got a problem, I got a problem solver. And his name is Revolver. <laughs> well, you can't just go around killing people. I am ruthless, but still, they can see me. He can make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Uh, government always not telling you stuff. Just do your job. Info's on a need-to-know basis, Presley. Oh man, my eyes. Why do I always notice these flaws after I create somebody? <laughs> my eyes look so squinty. I always ruin something. Whatever. My shepherd, he cool. Let's keep going. I'll talk to this guy. What's up, Carmine? I mean, <laughs> Jenkins. <laughs> I doubt anybody was gonna get that joke. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching. That's part of the job, Doc. Marines are meant to fight. You just fix us up when we're done. I know how things work, Commander. I've seen my share of combat, but it's foolish to go looking for trouble. You could both take a lesson from the captain. He's not afraid of combat, but he knows the value of restraint, too. Sorry, Doc, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been That's where Dr. Chakwas looked like a young woman with like old woman hair. I ain't bother to give her no wrinkles or nothing. He's like, she's old, so give her good hair. Yeah, yeah, it's just another mission, you dumb dumb. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on Torfin. Yeah, I can get my men killed. This is my big chance. Don't play hero, you dumbass. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. All right, let's do some more investigating. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I hope we get a chance to see him in action. I heard Nihilus. That's what this dude like Mass Effect Pee Wee Herman or something. Uh, the Spectus. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Mm, that, there's no human Spectre, so that's dang that dangerous. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. Weird shadow on her forehead. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those C-Sec grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. Goodness, get that Spectre dick out your mouth. <laughs> that dude just sucking away. He just like, gobble, 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 gobble. That's apparently how... Dick sucker sounds go. Anyway, goodbye. The captain's waiting. I got stuff to do. Goodbye, Commander. Either he's a dick sucker or he's a chicken or a turkey. That's the more accurate one. 
I'm sorry, I'm black. I talk about everything that's chicken. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. <laughs> Ew, I left that out too long. <laughs> anyway, where's Captain Innocent? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. 